Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are going to install this Soul Performance Valve Cutback Exhaust right here into the 981 Cayman S that I have behind me. So let's go and tackle it. In order to do this job, you're going to need a few tools. A 10 millimeter wrench like this, as an extension, 12 millimeter socket, and an E14 socket as well. Then something like this one to kind of use this and those. Now, here is the sole performance exhaust by itself, and it's really looking good. The reason why I got the valve one is because I want to be able to you know, have the flap open and closed, just like I have right now on my PSE exhaust. Yes, I do have the PSE exhaust. It is good, but I prefer the car to be a little louder. For those who know, I used to own an F80 M3 and that was pretty loud and that's kind of how I want this Cayman to be loud also. Now, this is the sole valve exhaust and it's pretty much going to replace this exhaust right here that you can see this is the PSC exhaust and yeah man this is the inside now this is the first bolt that we're going to remove one right here that's 12 millimeter and on the back here there's a second one 12 millimeters you do the same on the other side you remove those two now I already soak this with PB blaster just because those were a little rusted so let me go ahead and remove that and show you the next step for some reason the bolt on the other hand it looks like the stud itself just broke when I was removing as soon as I just put the socket there turn and it just broke man this is uh, crazy lucky enough for me I purchased a set of stud and bolt to replace this so it's not a big deal for me but this is just something that can happen so whenever you plan to do this job make sure that you purchase this and this is a bolt in question right here so as soon as I put it it just broke itself man this is crazy because I have the PSC exhaust and it's also valve that means that I have this pipe right here that is pretty much like a vacuum line that activate the mechanism that opened and closed the flap for the PSC system which is right here now all I have to do is just use a screwdriver and remove this piece right here to kind of unhook this vacuum line from the mechanism and then do the, the same thing on the other side now if you have a factory exhaust that is not the PSC you do not have to do this pipe because you will have to use the provided pipe from Soul Performance to kind of have that uh, valve system from the beginning now that those vacuum arms are out of the way as you can see right there you want to go ahead and remove these four bolts this one two and three and four on the top right there so you can this is where you use the e14 now you can put it e14 right here and right here but for the top one here it might be challenging to put a e14 right there that's where you use that 10 millimeter range to remove it because 10 millimeter will fit perfectly there it seems like it's a bit more challenging to remove these bolt right here so i did went ahead and remove these two using the 10 millimeters because the e14 socket didn't even fit there and my wrench is small so i cannot reach the top bolt so i decided to go ahead and just remove this bolt e14 also holding these brackets because this bracket is the only piece that is holding the exhaust right now once i remove this maybe have it here or remove completely have it off that little hanger here then i will not have to remove this bolt right there so that was just because i wanted to remove the exhaust in one piece with the bracket then remove this bracket off this side of the bracket and then you know kind of like mount this bracket back in here but i can go ahead and skip that step but just go ahead and remove this e14 so if yours is loose like mine you can go ahead and just remove that and keep everything here and just slide the exhaust out that's exactly what i'm going to do so i remove that side easily now i'm just go ahead and remove that using the e14 that's much easier compared to trying to remove this bolt right here so i'm going to go ahead and put this back once i have the exhaust out I finally was able to remove the PSC exhaust 
and I had the challenge to remove this part to have this piece which is the mechanism for the valve to pretty much come off the bumper as you know I recently installed this uh, GT4 diffuser and I had a hard time because it was getting stuck on the bottom side here inside and I had no clearance now for someone who doesn't have a PSC exhaust he will not have this little piece right here because the pipe would pretty much just go in there like that and it would be a little bulkier but it would be able to come off properly because I had this, this part kept being stuck under the diffuser and I literally had to unmount the diffuser so that I can kind of like bend it like this to clear that piece. And if you want to know how to remove the diffuser, I have a video that I've done on the installation of this GT4 uh, diffuser so you can see that and know how, you know, you can unmount and do this part right here. Now, if you have to compare both exhausts, literally, this is the muffle part of the PSC. It's much smaller than the factory exhaust because the PS is kind of like the sport exhaust, is Porsche sport exhaust, and this is the sole. You can see that it's much, 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 much smaller compared to the Porsche version right here. Yep. Now I have to find a way to pretty much go ahead and remove that broken stud right here. I have to find a way to remove that and then install the new one. And I also have new gasket that I purchased you know just to replace this factory gasket right here i'm having a very hard time right now to removing that i thought that it was just going to be me hammering this and it comes off but it is not coming off so i'm trying right now to you know drill everything around and having that bolt literally just gone into dust by drilling it so i'm starting with a small bit that's why you see i have a hole here and i mean i've been drilling this for the past maybe four hours just to have the small hole that you see in there now this is taking a very very long time so i wish that it didn't actually break at this point and uh, at the beginning i thought that i was going to remove even this to replace it with the new ones that i have but i think that i'm just going to keep these man because it's just too much so once i'm able to remove that that's when i'm going to be able to go ahead and place you know the new exhaust back in here so again i'm just drilling here and you know trying to get this completely loose because i think it's it's totally welded to this plate right here finally i was able to remove the bolt here it is and when you look at it you can see that it clearly can come off but this is the part where i was trying to pretty much drill and as you can see i went and purchased drill to be able to cut through steel and all these sides i've broken them and i've broken also those two here they are right there i also broke some pieces here you can see some that are still broken here just to remove this but what ended up working for me is not even drilling i literally because i've already made a big hole right there i literally took this um, phillips screwdriver put this head on the hole right there and started hammering with all my power man all my mind and all my power i hammered that thing out and next thing you know it come off but before you're doing that if you are working here make sure that you protect the hole so that nothing goes inside the catalytic converter and this is literally the hole where i had that bolt so someday when i have time i might come off and remove this and you know pretty much hammer them out to remove the bolt but i doubt i'll be doing it but maybe then yeah man that's it finally i can go back and continue with the process the next step is to place back this bracket the reason we want to place the bracket right now is the fact that once we are putting the sole performance exhaust this side is going to hold the sole exhaust and the other side is also going to hold the sole exhaust so we want to mount this bracket and then after that i'm going to literally just mount the exhaust in one piece if it doesn't work in one piece then i'm going to try to do it in two pieces here are the new bolt that i purchased from fcp euro right here and these are the stuff that i was going to place but i'm only going to use one for now because i don't feel like going through this same process of extracting the stud on the other three now these are the new gasket and i'm going to also place them so i'm going to go ahead and mount this exhaust all in there is literally the reverse of removing pretty simple because this piece is not big place this and uh, show you the finished product when you mount everything it should look something like this you have the exhaust going there and also I uh, hooked up the vacuum lines and if we go under you will see that 
the tip is also properly aligned that's the same thing on the other side now all I have to do is simply sorry performance all I have to do is simply wait tomorrow morning and literally start I did start a little bit just to kind of see if there's a, I have any kind of leaks and trust me it is pretty loud so I don't want to wake up the neighbors so I'm gonna wait tomorrow morning and actually do a cold start I'm gonna put back the wheels and the car will be on the ground and I'm gonna pretty much do a cold start for you guys so that you can see you know I am so happy I was able to finish that today yeah man this is day two I am done with the installation but I have the car still on jacks because I want to adjust the tips usually you know the way with the cayman is that when you see it on the air like that you think it's perfect but when you put it on the ground you find that maybe it's too down or too high so once I put it on the ground I'm going to see how it is and probably adjust but I wanted to first start up the car make sure everything is good again before I put it back on the floor and everything is there it's looking mighty nice as you can see you can see the sole sole right here I love it man I love it so let me do a coaster for you and uh, go with the open valve and close valve so you can see how that sound and then after that we take it on a test drive it has been raining as you can see I left the E46 outside because I was I guess I was working here and uh, yeah let's uh, let's do that I'm on third gear right now. The car definitely got out there. I'm driving a normal motor and you can hear on the back, it's much, much louder. This is just regular mode and I'm on 4,000 RPM. And it is, it is definitely louder. Now let me put it in sport mode so you can see the difference. Now you have more pronounced bubbles. And let's go back to that 4,000 RPM in sport mode now. Oh yeah, the bubbles are crazy. <laughs> Definitely louder. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Oh Lord. This is definitely good. This is very, very good. Well, because, you know, it's, it's raining today, I can't really push the car that much. So I think I'm going to make a different video with a nice um, sound test clip of this. Because this definitely sounds very, very delicious. But this is just an... This is just for you to kind of have a, a, an overview of how it sounds like. Let me find a nice corner, sit down and, and let, let's analyze this together really quick. You heard the cold start. You heard when I was driving in sport mode, in normal mode, and you can clearly feel the difference. I know the PSC is good, but man, this is something. This is definitely on the cabin, it's definitely loud. I don't even know how loud it is outside, so I have to make a different video clip of just you know driving around and you hear everything with the windows down and all that because it's raining i can't really put the windows down like that and i also just got tent so i can't really put windows down also because of the tent so this won't really do justice to the exhaust hopefully you at least got a glimpse of how nice this sole performance exhaust is now for those of you who have psc 
one thing that some people do to kind of have like an increased more deeper sound is that they actually change the header with the carded or decaded version of the solo performance that give them a nice deep tone to what was already a nice good vibe from the PSC. Now this one takes it to another level. So I think if you want more noise also, you definitely have to have the cut back. Now possibly in the future I might pair this with the solo performance uh, header and yeah maybe that will give me more and more growl and more deeper deeper sound than this this is definitely good i love it but i don't know if on the outside it is as loud as the f80 on the inside it it is definitely loud just like the f80 but i don't know of the outside so i have to have that video that video is definitely coming as soon as the weather gets nice i'm gonna make that video i'm gonna drive around have people uh, you know with me and and take shots and whatnot so that you have the best sound clip for this car with soul performance exhaust man this is this is definitely and i love it i love it it was a little challenging experience to install the exhaust but i tackled it in one day and uh, i'm pretty happy about that on this note thank you for watching if you made it to the end make sure that you subscribe hit a like and also give me any comment about the exhaust setup that you have on your specific car maybe i will learn from you you know you never know right so see you on the next video and stay safe guys